Minister of Public Service and Administration, Ms. Ayanda Dlodlo, participated in a youth outreach program in Otswaring, local municipality, in the Eden District of Western Cape Province on the 10th of July 2016. The focus on the outreach program was to share the opportunities with the youth in rural areas by providing information on how to access youth development programs, government initiatives and government programs directed at the youth as primary beneficiaries. Why are we here? The minister said she will come to Otsuren because there was a need. And the needs that were identified around Otsuren were around skills development. So if you are somebody who really needs to be developed, uh, we'll hear some good stories here today. Uh, I forgot to mention there's somebody from Hesekwa as well who will also talk to us about how the minister in his department has helped them when they visited Hesekwa last year in June. And then this year, the minister uh, gave Hesekwa a report back, which we will expect ours sometime next year. So that person is also in our midst. And later in the program, we will also be talking about how the department has been able to assist them. We'll also hear a lot about economic development. And lastly, we'll also hear about uh, develop, youth development in general. Uh, now, next in our program, we'll call our administrator, or Mr. Kemcheti. He will be welcoming all of us here. Thank you. Let's give Mr. Chetty a big round of applause. Give him a, a bit of energy. I think today we all know that Otson has serious problems, and that's no secret. But particularly with youth, we have an unemployment level of around 52%. And that unemployment level, when we translate into numbers, the numbers are close to over 6,000 people, 6,200 people who are unemployed and who are youth. So the message today that comes from national governments, starting from our president and national cabinet, is that members of government throughout the youth month talk to youth, understand what the issues and challenges are, try and look at solutions. I think it's important not to talk about just the problems and the challenges we have. But together as government and the youth, throughout the country and in Otson in particular, I think we can come up with solutions. <laughs> Yesterday's lucky deputy minister Danki se difunu kuti kusekelam party swa engosi kakulu. That says you were tighter. That was the day in the April 2016. Ateke geta sa eltile kolonya ka ubi zile yo wakwa svelel. Specific and means of what answer could do not for NPO registration. Eh, kubantu abeben zay izite lo kuzindo zo puti so njalon njal. Via la la certificate or under it. I tell us a kubanika is a difficult Right now, our next session is the in, in interaction. Now, on my on my left hand side, I would like all the representatives of the different um, facets within the youth structure to, to to stand up so that we see all of you. Let, let, let's see you. Those are the youths that are representing various sectors. You talk about business, health, uh, you know, uh, education, and so forth. So we'll give them each uh, a few minutes. We need youth centers. I'm not talking about any other youth structures that have been built already, but I'm talking about youth centers. The youth are tired. We are tired. Because we want to grow, like they say, youth forward. We want. We don't want. We don't just want your money. We want to, you to say to us, take some of this unemployed youth, go put them at the electrical department, give them a stipend, even if they just make copies. They are learning something. They are having pride in something. 
so sabulela eltuba indokba u deputy minister ekhona indokba sicele indokba sibe nokwazi ufuya kulamhlaba we are thanking this opportunity and this pleasure of having our deputy minister in our midst so that she can facilitate uh, our movement so that we can be able to do farming in that piece of land and as you're aware we've started we've put people on suspension we've started disciplinary process there's even a move of foot for criminal charges against corruption and nepotism and a whole range of that if you see problems as problems and not as opportunities. You will come here same time next year with no plan. And Nathaniel, you sir, and you as well, will be forming something that speaks to youth in the farming community. And what I will do with that is make sure that the Department of Land Affairs is on board, the Department of Agriculture is on board, and so is the Department of Trade and Industry. When the roof leaks, you will want government to come and fix it. You want government to do everything for you? No. The opportunities are there. Let's work together. Thank you very much.